mon petit croissant. Je visitais Paris dans... I'm in Paris for a few days with my mom and my sister. Am I really well? Oh, just concentrating. I did concentrate. I got a B on Abby next. everyone from gorgeous sunny Paris. I'm here for a few days with my mum and my sister. We're gonna have a fun little Clegg girls trip away. I actually arrived here yesterday. I was supposed to come on Monday but oh my god we had a bloody palaver. Bloody palaver ending up with me retching in the street whilst one of you poor guys came up to me with a banana bread. Yeah, I I did end up projectile vomiting um, just outside of Vauxhall bus station. Not the best, but thankfully it was only a 24-hour bus. So I hopped on the Eurostar yesterday, and I've arrived. I'm actually going to get my nails done today, which I think is going to be an experience within itself. I put on my story yesterday um, asking for good nail techs in Paris, and thank you so much to everyone who messaged me. We had another casualty. We've lost two nails, and I also need a nice fresh set for when I get home. As I said as well, I think it will be an experience within itself having some french nail stuff i'm thinking at the moment i'm just gonna go for a classic red keep it kind of parisian and classic i was about to say classy but i don't think there's anything classy about the length of feet although some may beg to differ she gonna pop it open she gonna make it poor even though i drive a foreign damn i still feel poor Whilst I'm here, I really want to do a little bit of shopping. I kind of want to get myself a new bag, I think. I like to buy like bags or nice things or like a nice pair of shoes, either like to commemorate something, unless I just really, really, really want it. And I'm hoping we're gonna do a lot of vintage shopping as well. We're staying in the most beautiful area. I'll ask my mum later, like the details of the hotel and stuff. I'll also give you a tour when we're back home tonight. I just thought it might be nice to let housekeeping freshen it up a little bit before I show you the absolute bomb site I've created. I also really told myself I was going to be so organized, prepare so many cute outfits on this trip, but I'm literally walking around in a vest top, cargo skirt, and the loafers that I wear every single day. Guys, they've got different Oasis flavors. If you know me, I am an Oasis girl through and through. Coming to a supermarket abroad will never lose its thrill. They've got super shoop drinks. Look, oh, that's disgusting. Purple shampoo, like stain my nail. Oh my God, Anna, my friend was drinking one of those Calypso drinks and she found mold in it. Like a big chunk of mold fell out. Oh. So gorgeous. I've had to Google translate all of the instructions. French addresses are so confusing as well. I'm actually so proud of myself. I used to be like such a pussy with this stuff. Going anywhere alone, traveling alone, always really scared. I've gotten so good. I literally had my first solo airport experience in Marbella. Guys, I cannot get over that this is where I'm going to my next appointment. Even though I drive a foreign, damn, I still feel poor. Sushi on my dinner plate, even cream brulee. I was about to show you my nails, but I think I need to focus on walking down these stairs. The most beautiful, like, apartment block. These are the nails I got, just a classic red. She did the most incredible job. The shape is so straight. I'm going to leave her at on screen here. She was so lovely, like, got me in last minute. Spoke really good English as well, if you're worried about that. If you live in Paris or you're visiting Paris and you want a nail technician, I really recommend her. She doesn't just do block colours as well. She does the most incredible designs. You guys know I love my nail design. I also feel like my lip liner is on a madness. Everything in Paris is just ethereal, I swear. Every bakery, the cakes look more delicious. Every cafe, the coffee tastes better. The people here are so friendly. I'm really contemplating coming back to Paris for a couple weeks, just kind of navigating it on my own, making some friends, and then who knows, I'll probably end up moving here. I haven't been away in so long. I've had my first holiday away to Marbella, which I know I've like, gone on about it so much. Oh, I haven't been away, but I feel so lucky that I'm going away so much, like in one month. I'm also going to Milan at the end of this month, which I'm sure I've told you guys. But it's just so nice, like so refreshing. As much as I love London, it's also so nice to get out and also 
spend time with my mum and sister. I don't get to spend nearly as much time with them as I want to. I'm now heading over to the Picasso Gallery because they've just been around there and I think we're gonna go for some lunch. Yum, 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 yum. I got burrata and then some salmon. I also had salmon for breakfast, so I think I may turn into one at this point. That looks amazing. Doesn't it? Oh, baby. Just a little one. We were just discussing earlier how Coke Zero is so much better than Diet Coke. Let me know down below. Do you prefer Diet Coke, Coke Zero, or normal Coke? Because if you like normal Coke, if you like normal Coke, we can't be friends. When I tell you so I inhaled you that, we're in the most incredible like clothing shop. I've already seen so much stuff I like, but it is kind of like a designer clothing shop. This little skirt here with this little cami is just the sweetest thing I've ever seen. I'm also getting into wearing longer stuff at the moment. So anytime I see something long, I feel like I owe it to myself to buy it. There she goes. And it's 409 just for the skirt. Maybe another time when I have a special occasion. The coolest stuff. <gasps> Oh my gosh, so sweet. I feel like tartan, like checkered, is gonna be really big in winter. These shoes as well. Oh, and they have them in the boots form. So much fun. If I have more space, you'll be coming home with me. These little heels as well. Just so obsessed, I want everything. Just went into this little vintage shop called Snow Bunny, which was on recommendation of my friend Salome. And I got a couple of things, but I'm gonna show you when I get back. I was too tired to make it to breakfast this morning because I had a bit of a rocky night's sleep. So my mom and my sister brought me breakfast in bed. I also got a nice latte with some almond milk. And then this afternoon we could go down to Bon Marche. Lovely. Lovely. Awesome. Little bit of the bubbly. I didn't film anything when I got back in last night, but we were basically all really tired. So we just lay in bed and watched TikToks. Not and eating burrata. Not eating burrata. We literally just had like some snacks in bed last night for our dinner because we were so tired and not like particularly hungry. So my mum and sister went to the shop to go and like pick up some stuff. The whole evening I was talking about crusty bread and burrata. What did we arrive home without? Crusty bread and burrata. We did have some nice like sort of sashimi and rice though. Probably a little bit of a healthier option. But today I'm gonna make up for lost time. Burrata, burrata, burrata. Burrata. How many burrata did you have yesterday, lots? One. One too so little. are we gonna average one a day or are we gonna uh... Two. The, the girls who get it, get it. Just like fish and cheese. That's like a like, staple diet. Play a game would you rather. That was so funny last night. Would you rather, you never answer this one actually. Would you rather never have crisps again or never have dip again? I did answer, never have dip, yeah. Never have dip, you, you cannot never. imagine never having crisps again with a nice drink in the evenings when you get back from work. Yeah, but you need dip with the crisps. No, no, I have alcohol with the crisps. Lose your little toe, oh. both feet, or never have hummus again. Oh, do you never have hummus again? I don't know how to lose my little toe. Oh. Although, apparently, if you lose your little toe, it goes a whole entire balance off. Yeah, well, if you lose your big toe, you'd, I think you really, really struggle to walk and stuff. Would you rather tea cakes for eyes, pink wafers for fingers? Tea cakes for eyes? Or have pink wafers for fingers? Wafers for fingers. Never go out clubbing again, or never go abroad again. Never go out clubbing. I'm not over it anyway. Are you? Yeah. I like getting drunk, but I feel like, don't give me that. You just said, I don't dip, I'll just have it with wine. Bonjour, mon petit croissant. I'm all dressed and ready now to go out. I did my makeup super quickly well super quickly for me i'm wearing my for love and lemons dress that i always wear these are just so comfy and so easy to throw on because it's just an outfit within itself i feel like this is a cult flossy uniform by now and then some white loafers with frilly socks i also treated myself and brought a few of my bags on this trip usually i just bring one but today i'm gonna wear my green one i couldn't decide between this one and a printed one let's keep her classic keep it classy <laughs> Stopped off for some lunch. I got a salad and a burrata, of course. Is that like peach on the burrata? Mm, that's 
Marvel, Betty Nectarine. We're talking about role models currently, and I just said, Mummy, you said yours is Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton and Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham. <laughs> Mine is Paris and Nicole. No. Barata in Paris is so much better than Barata at home. Went up to the Sacre Coeur today. I didn't really vlog that much of it because, I don't know, I feel like you see that all the time. I've actually already got a Paris vlog up on this channel from back when I went with my ex-boyfriend, and we did all that sort of touristy stuff this time. It's just a bit more shopping, like nice lunches and streets. I think this is the best way to do city breaks. Bread, soft, like creamy cheeses, make my world go around. We're in a French Selfridges, and whilst I haven't been told off, I'm pretty sure they won't be happy about me filming in here, so I'm probably not going to. If I do buy anything, I'll show you when I'm home. Quick flash though, it is so beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. You literally can't see anything, it's all not in focus. But I'm scared. Two of the very many things that make my little world turn round. Iced tea, especially iced tea on holiday, peach iced tea. They sell ginormous bottles here and coffee. Although it is quite emotionally distressing that French way of drinking coffee is with little to zero milk. My mum asked for an almond milk iced latte to me this morning. My mum, my mum asked, why could I not get a sentence out? My mum asked for an iced latte. You can't either. My mum asked for an almond ice latte on my behalf this morning and she may as well have been speaking gibberish to them. I'm sorry, it tasted like battery acid. We're about to go out for dinner now, but I'm just gonna touch up my makeup a little bit. It is humid in France at the moment, although I'm not gonna complain because it's much better than soggy England. I also think I might put a little loose curl through my hair. I wanna go to a nice, like, bougie restaurant tomorrow night. I packed enough outfits to be walking some runway every single night. I don't know who I was fooling there but I've got this one dress that I haven't worn yet and I really want to wear but I thought I could show you how I touched up my makeup because look at that you could literally see your own reflection in my forehead right now I always take a beauty blender and just sort of like blot off the shininess I swear who am I kidding why are we sugarcoating this it's it's sweat. I also got this makeup bag recently. I got sent it from Glossy Box and it kind of lies flat. How great is that? I feel like doing this doesn't really disturb my makeup, but it helps like mesh it all back together. The rest of it has stayed pretty well. Honestly, that Refi Eyebrow Setting Gel is so good. I'll then take whatever's left on my powder brush from the morning and go over and repowder my T-zone. Then go in with a bit of bronzer. I've been getting so many questions about what bronzer I've been using recently. And I've always used MAC Gimme some but i've recently changed to estee lauder bronze goddess this stuff is incredible the color of it is so gorgeous i think i need to get a slightly deeper one though because i still have the teeny tiniest bit of marbella tan is that me or you me also opinions is being asked to go play golf or bowling on a first date a red flag i'd say it's a fun experience um I'm still undecided. I'm glad there's some optimism in the room here. I don't know, call me vanilla, call me boring, but I'm a dinner and drinks girl. I don't like to leave room or space for anything to go wrong. For me to embarrass myself, stumble, fall over. I also refuse, and when I say I refuse, I refuse to let a boy see my normal height the first time I meet him. I have to be wearing heels or else I can never see you romantically ever again. I am very sad to update you all that I have not in fact been proposed to in front of the Eiffel Tower yet by a man that I met two days ago. I didn't even meet a man two days ago. My friend Josh really gaslighted me before this trip. For some reason he sent me this big text being like, you're gonna meet your future husband in Paris. I just know it. I just know you are. You're gonna meet the man of your dreams. Where is he then? Why is he not knocking at that door? Room 508 with 100 red roses. If it's not Timothy Chalamet though, I don't want him. Timothy Chalamet, he's not French, is he? Of course he's French, I think. Like... He's American. Should I look it up? Yeah. I think he's... Also, Google his address whilst you're at it. <laughs> it's got to be a French descent. Yeah, Chalamet is a French surname, isn't it? I always do my makeup in natural light and for some reason, I feel like it actually ends up worse in natural light because it always looks a bit lighter. Mustache needs some serious attention, girls. Hope you find peace for yourself. New boyfriend and go feel the voice. What's your favourite song at the moment, Banam? Oh my god, do you know what it is? It's not a current song. It's Abba sleeping through my fingers. Ah. So it's a tearjerker, that one. Bloody it. What's it about? Daughter? Like having a yes. daughter? Yeah. God, it's about that. Don't let Howard listen to that one. Wow, both of us. <laughs> 
I'm deciding whether I want to do red lip tonight because I've got red nails. I'm going to put on some like fancy jewellery, I think. I might put a curl in my hair or I might put my hair up. Although my hair extensions are hanging on for dear life. Back of my hair is one big lump of glue it's as attractive as it sounds i think that's me done on the face basis i mean it's not gonna look the best but it's looking better eyebrows are in need of some desperate attention you could breed knit in my eyebrows so that thick at the moment hi guys i'm just editing these clips back and there's quite the controversy online around my voice my fucking voice i can't control the way i speak unfortunately um but i do want to say in these iphone clips my voice is significantly higher and maybe that could explain it maybe that will itch the scratch that you've all so desperately wanted to itch not you all i know it's just like a select group of people but yeah i'm being absolutely slandered left right and center for the way i speak at the moment online as i said i can't change it um but i do just want to say like you will see all throughout the vlog when i'm recording clips on my iphone my voice is so much higher so i'm sorry if that annoys you but yeah i'm not like putting on a voice why would i ever like why would i do that do you think i have the time i'm way too busy scrolling delivery <laughs> Anyway, enjoy the vlog! I'm a fucking idiot and I didn't bring the camera. Wearing the new Supreme jacket I got, the black slip dress that I wear like every night. Got these new earrings that I picked up in Marbella. I put on red lipstick and I've also just remembered I didn't bring the red lipstick out so that's not gonna last long. And then I've just got some sour clear heels on. <laughs> Come to Libertino, which is in like the Gloria's, um, is it Chocolo Pabla? You guys know, like Gloria's in London, because we couldn't really find anywhere to eat tonight, and I found this place, and it's just a fail safe. Like, I know the food here is gonna be great. Got a Bellini spritz. That looked delicious. Yep. I agree. I also got the largest burrata ever. Food was delicious. I literally inhaled it as per usual. And I'm a little bit drunk. My sister's poorly with a cold that I've definitely given her. My mum's making her drink brandy because apparently that makes a cold better. Let me know if your elders, God, she'd kill me for calling her an elder. If your parents, grandparents have ever made you drink brandy, didn't grandma give you brandy as a child once? Gin. Why? And you just drank it like a champ. It's legend, babe. You're out of We have to try it, apparently. That aroma in my nostrils. <laughs> good morning everyone it is our last day today and i'm really sad i've also done my makeup really badly and i think i look really butch we have one clegg down today unfortunately my sister's not feeling too well can I say hey i say petition to get a large lipton iced tea sculpture in paris somewhere me riding a labrador on the top of it two <laughs> guinea pigs on leads We're heading out today to do some like girly shopping i really want to try and find a prada maybe to buy a pair of shoes i honestly thought i was gonna go crazy this trip and buy absolutely everything but i've been pretty controlled pretty controlled and i also just haven't seen anything that's majorly majorly cool to me Perfect. Perfect. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible sandwich, Terrible mommy. Terrible sandwich, mommy. I'll see if I can find it. But there's this TikTok reel that my sister showed me and my mum. The children in Paris as well. That's, this is going to sound really weird. Not in a weird way, but the, just that everyone here is so beautiful. I'm already in contact with removal and delivery company. And I'm right me searching for a flat. The goal in life, I said, an apartment in another city. An apartment abroad in like a nice hot country. After going to my Marbella, I keep saying Marbella. I had a four story house in Notting Hill. Who I gotta marry? <laughs> Who I gotta marry? Dressed, woo! Today I'm wearing my supreme jacket. I'm just planning on doing this up and letting the jacket do the talking. I've just got a little white tee on underneath for warm. <laughs> Beautiful jacket. <laughs> 
like a um, just a blobby or like. Not one that, like Michelin man. These earrings as well, like super big hoops. I actually got these in the airport on the way to Mars and they were from Accessorize. Who would have thought? And they don't tarnish or weather either. Really great. Loads of the girls actually on that trip had gone into Accessorize and got loads of belly chains and stuff. Really great if you're either around an Accessorize or you're going on holiday or something. I've also been using my eyelash serum again and it's really... Ceremony. This is our hotel sort of walkway from the lift. It's giving old money. Very beautiful, very nice. Oh, the flowers. Can I them? Buy me flowers. We're in a department store right now and I'm in the Prada because, as I've said, I really want to get like a black pair of these. Although I keep seeing about a million and one bags that I love. I'm so terrified once again I'm not allowed to film in here so I'm trying to do it on the low. What a gorgeous background though. These like monograms I love. Look at these little ones so sweet i don't have a white bag in my collection yet so i'm thinking there could potentially be a space for one of those we finished up in that shop unfortunately they didn't have my loafers in my side but there's a prada nearby it's telling me so we're gonna go in there and try again me and my mom were looking at the prada bags for so long though as i said i just feel a little bit shy filming in those shops because i'm always scared that i'm gonna be told off so i'm sorry i didn't get too much footage to be honest we've just really been shopping today if i buy anything i mean i'll show you when i get home i also still need to show you a couple of the bits that i got like from the vintage shop okay that prada didn't actually exist oh r.i.p carl big up also is cara delavine okay we're at gallery lafayette third time lucky please all pray for me i don't know where the fuck i'm going i need to actually look around me rather than down at my camera i must be driving my poor mother and say fucking give up they don't have them okay. i'm okay thank you one of the best feelings in the world Never wear hoops. I used to wear hoops like that. Really? Yeah. Sure mm -hmm. Hoops and red mascara. Never red. Had red mascara till I was uh, in your forties. No, thirty. Um, we got two rooms whilst we're here. So me and my mum are sharing one, but we've kind of bomb sighted ours. Anna's is a little bit we <laughs> me. I bomb sighted it. You made it into your own little obstacle course. <laughs> Like total wipeout gone influencer. Do a quick pan of my sister's room. Don't worry, Anna. I'm not gonna open your drawers up and show you knickers. Walking through the door here. Got a nice big floor length mirror. I've been making coffees in the morning. Gorgeous bed. The views are so pretty. Nice big French windows. I really want something like this in my future house. Bonjour, mon petit croissant. La tour Eiffel. Mon chéri. That's about as far as my French knowledge expands. Nice big comfy bed. And I know something else that's a bit rude. Voulez vous coucher avec moi ce soir? It's super pretty here, like very Soho home, we were saying. And my mum picked up some cakes from a bakery. Wow, so pretty. You either got strawberry pear or this creamy one. Nos petits croissants. <laughs> no petit croissant. Why don't we just try a bit of each? Yeah, maybe we can try a bit of each. Cool. A woman at work. Oh. 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 Oh, she is a work of art. That cake is better looking than half the boys have spoken to in the last year. I've had one nostril that's just been streaming like a tap this entire holiday. <laughs> there. Right, so. Anna, would you like to pass me your plate, honey? I just woke up and there's no one in the room. I'm so confused. I don't really know what day. Hi, I'm Sydney Ivan. I'm going to be in New York. It's fashion week. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in New York. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to be in Crisps back in my room. It tastes like pure cheese. They taste kind of good, but sometimes if you're not in the mood, they can taste like feet. <laughs> do, I, do I look like I'm coming back home from a night out? <laughs> look at me. It's disheveled. I feel like it. A little shower and makeup touch up later. And we're ready. Give us a rundown. Oh, 
Okay, I have got Marks and Spencer's linen shirt. I have got Marks and Spencer's linen trousers. I've got Do you remember when we said we'd have conversations when you started shopping in m and for clothes? Yes, I know. It'll it's be the one, garden centre next. one off buying from the garden centre. Ooh, um, yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> Just trips over my coat. And I've got a John Lewis handbag oh, that was in the mm -hmm. sale. She's a lady who lunches. I'm wearing this new House of CB dress tonight, which I was just saying I should have got a size smaller, but we did make the good point of I'll be able to eat a lot in this. I just got this one. It's easy. It's French looking. It's very comfortable. And then my Zara clear heels because they're the comfiest clear heels ever. And if you're not a heels girl, my earrings are Astrid and Miu and I've just got like all my usual gold rings that I always wear. <laughs> this is where we're going for dinner tonight. It's called Hotel Costa. Friend Salome was like, You have to come here. Wow. Here's our food, so delicious. This lobster pasta is 72 pounds. It better be the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. We got some little prawn dim sum. Mummy's got some salmon. What did you get as a side? Uh, we broke off the green beans, oh. didn't we? And it's got some beef. Dinner was delicious. The restaurant was so beautiful. I'm already planning my trip back to Paris to go and stay in that hotel. It was like the Ned on crack. And we all know how I feel about the Ned. What have your guys' favourite part of the trip been? Oh, um, favourite bits were the Picasso Museum yesterday. Yeah? And, that wasn't um, yesterday. Absolutely. Two days ago. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, wasn't it? You're asking the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I love the Castle Museum. I love Montmartre yesterday. I love the Favourite bit? Favourite part? Okay, Castle Museum and Montmartre. Anna, what was your favourite bit? Favourite part? Um, Montmartre. Oh, Marais. Oh, Marais. Oh, Marais. Okay. What was your favourite bit? I think it's just being in a different city, people watching, soaking it up. I feel like there's been no pressure to do like the touristy stuff. We haven't even seen the Eiffel Tower this whole time we've been here or like any of the landmarks, but just gone to nice restaurants, gone shopping in cool places. I like going shopping in a little vintage shops. Okay, I agree, I agree. So everyone, I just want to say that that is the end of my Paris vlog and I really, really, really hope that you did all enjoy it. did, give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe. I feel like I never say that, but maybe there are some new people here. Come say hello. I love you all so much. I hope you guys got the opportunity to go away this summer. If you did go somewhere, let me know where you went. I had the best, best, best time ever. And it was just really nice being with my mum and sister. I've got beetroot around my mouth. I love you all and I'll see you all very soon.